I had trouble in getting to Sala Sol Lu, by Dr. Seuss is a thought-provoking tale that uses whimsical language and vibrant illustrations to convey deeper messages about life's challenges, escapism, and personal responsibility. The story follows the narrator, a young and frustrated creature, who grows tired of facing daily troubles. When he learns of a distant place called Sala Sol Lu, where there are supposedly very few problems, he embarks on a journey to reach this seemingly perfect destination. Throughout his journey, the protagonist encounters numerous obstacles, delays, and new troubles, challenging the simplicity of the promise that Sala Sol Lu is free from hardships. By the time the protagonist nears his destination, the story reveals that Sala Sol Lu is not the utopia he imagined, underscoring the inevitable nature of trouble in life. The narrative begins with the protagonist's initial frustration at the various troubles he faces in his everyday life. Seuss employs his characteristic rhyming style and playful language to create an entertaining yet relatable sense of dissatisfaction. The decision to leave everything behind in pursuit of a perfect place represents a common human impulse, to flee from one's problems rather than confront them. The protagonist's belief that Sala Solu offers a trouble-free existence is reflective of the way people often idealize distant places or future circumstances, thinking that happiness lies elsewhere. This theme of escapism drives the story forward, as the protagonist embarks on a long, arduous journey in the hope of escaping his current woes. As the journey unfolds, the protagonist faces a series of setbacks, each more absurd than the last, from treacherous mountain passes to mischievous creatures. These trials serve as metaphors for the unforeseen challenges that arise in life, regardless of one's best efforts to avoid them. Despite his initial belief that Sala Solu is a sanctuary free from problems, the constant appearance of new troubles on his journey serves as a reminder that hardship is a universal experience. Sousa's imaginative storytelling and comical characters add layers of humor to these frustrations, softening the impact of the story's more serious undertones. When the protagonist finally reaches Sala Solu, he learns that the city is not quite as idyllic as promised. The entrance is blocked by a key malfunction, and the few troubles that the town does have seem insurmountable. This twist highlights the futility of believing in the existence of a perfect place devoid of difficulties. Sue suggests that problems cannot simply be avoided by changing locations or circumstances. By showing that even Sala Solu has its own issues, the story confronts the flawed notion of utopia, reminding readers that problems are part of the human experience, no matter where one goes. The protagonist's final decision to return home and fight his own troubles, rather than flee from them represents a significant moment of personal growth. This conclusion reinforces the story's central message, instead of running away from difficulties, individuals should take responsibility for facing and solving them. Through this resolution, Seuss emphasizes the importance of resilience and self-reliance. The protagonist learns that while challenges are unavoidable, they can be met with courage and determination. This shift in perspective marks the end of his journey, not in the geographical sense, but as a journey of self-discovery and maturity. I Had Trouble in Getting to Sala Sol Lu is a powerful allegory for life's constant ups and downs, disguised as a children's tale. Dr. Seuss cleverly blends humor, absurdity, and rhyme to deliver a message about the necessity of facing adversity head-on rather than seeking to escape it. The story illustrates that while the desire to avoid trouble is natural, it is ultimately futile, as challenges are an inevitable part of life. By the end of the narrative, the protagonist's newfound understanding of personal responsibility serves as a valuable lesson for readers of all ages, the path to contentment does not lie in avoiding difficulties, but in confronting them with perseverance. Dr. Seuss's unique storytelling style ensures that this lesson is delivered in a way that is both entertaining and profound, making I Had Trouble in Getting to Sala Solu a timeless reflection on the nature of trouble and human resilience.